everyone. My name is Brittany and I'm the teen librarian here at the Kokomo Howard County Public Library. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make up your Among Us ornament. In this bag you will have one clear ornament, you'll have four paints, a paintbrush, three figurines, you'll have three stencils, one string, and a little bag of fake snow that we can stuff inside of our ornament. So to start off with, we're going to do the hardest part of this exercise, and it's going to be the stencil. As you can see, I already have a few on here already. And you want to take note that it is going to do a little bit of bubbling, and that's fine. So we're going to start off by taking the stencil off. We'll want to do this carefully because we don't want to rip it. Also don't want to warp it. And there we go. And we get this eyepiece out as well. So that over there. Alright. So what you're going to want to do with this stencil is start off the bottom. And then you're going to want to drag it outwards a little bit. We're going to need to warp it a little bit. Because if we don't, it'll try to fold in on itself up at the top. And that's no fun. So that looks good. And the good thing about these stencils is that you can unpeel and move them as much as you need. As long as you're careful. That one's going to warp a little bit. And that's fine. Just smooth it down. And then... As you can see, this is going to bubble in on itself, and that's just fine. We'll just smooth it in, and smooth it down, and there you go. So, now that we have the stencil placed, we're going to start painting it. You're going to want to make sure you have something to mix paint on, rinse your brush off with, and dry your brush off. So, I've got myself a little cup of water. I have a little plate up here for when I decide I want to mix paints and I have some paper towels. And I think I'm going to make this little guy blue. So I'll pop open my blue here. I'll take my paintbrush and we'll just dip in there and we'll start painting. See? Real simple. Now the first coat is probably going to be a bit more sheer, and that's okay. We also have a, I can show you, we have a ghost stencil as well, so that sheerness might be good for the ghost. Or maybe you just like having your figures a little bit more sheer, that's fine too. So we're just going to apply that. And it's okay to get paint on the stencil because we'll be taking that stencil off so you won't even see it. Just gonna keep painting in there. Blow it on a little bit, make it a little drier. You can either wait for it to dry before you start adding more layers, or just be careful as you're adding more layers. Either one works. Alright, we've got our little guy here all nice and blue. I'm going to go ahead and rinse that blue off, because since we have our body done, we want to get into the eye area and then that little pack on the back. So I've rinsed my brush off, and I'm just going to dry it off here. And we're going to do that eye area in white, so we'll close the blue. And we'll open up the white. Open up. There we go. Get some white. And we'll dip in, and we'll just smooth over. And again, more paint, more layers means it's less sheer. We'll just put up against that. 
And then for this backpack over here, I'm thinking we want it to be a little gray. So I'm not going to wipe off my white from my brush. I'm just gonna open up this black. And we're just gonna take a little dip of it. We're gonna mix it right here and we're gonna make us a gray. Nice little gray color, dip back in the white there, make us a nice little gray. I think that's a nice color. All right, set that back down, pick this back up, and we'll just do a little bit of gray on the back end. And there we go. Our little guy just needs to be able to dry. We'll go ahead and clean off our brush. And wipe off. All right. We're going to let that dry for a little bit. And we're going to start putting things inside of our ornament. So what I did here to take the top off is I just pulled it right off. Then you can set that down. And we're going to put a little bit of snow in here. You can put as much or as little as you like. Set that down. Open this up. So you'll just take a pinch at a time. snow in there because it's a cold month and our little crewmates and imposters are enduring the cold just like we are. So I think I'm just going to put just a little bit in there, just enough to kind of make it look like my guy's running. And then I'm going to set that off to the side and I'm going to grab my little figurine but I'm just going to plop them right in. Now, unfortunately, these guys are a little back heavy, so they don't really stand up, but we'll just pretend that means it's a successful imposter round. And then when we want to put it back in, we'll pinch this together and just kind of shove them back in. And we want to make sure, there we go. So you can see that none of these pieces are inside of our ornament and it's back on. So now that this is dry just a little bit, we're going to take this stencil off. We're going to be very careful about it. Try and pinch up that spot where it bubbled a little. There we go. We want to be careful because we don't want to smear our paint. And also, if you decide you want to reuse the stencil, we don't want to rip it or over warp it. So I'll just pluck that one off. Nope, see that one ripped a little bit. That's okay because I'm not going to reuse it. So I'll just peel the rest of that off and we'll set it to the side. Now you can either leave it as is or if you want to have that black outline like it does in the game, we'll just go back in with our black paint. And we'll be real careful as we start to kind of color in those spaces. We'll go around. Nope, see, picking up white. That's all right. Put my black. We'll go around our little guy. And we'll come up around the head. And we're going to try to keep it a consistent line size. Do a bit of a heavier layer. And in we go. And go up. I'm going to go over all this again with a second coat. And 
And the good thing about this paint is that when it dries and you think you've messed up, you can just scratch it right off. No harm, no foul. Here again, because I want a more solid line. And there we go, we've got a little imposter or crewmate buddy. I'll go ahead and rinse that off my paintbrush so it doesn't get all dried out. And then close these up so they don't get all dried out. And then our last thing we're going to do is we're going to put our string on. So we are going to just loop it up through, bring it up, and make a small knot right here, but we don't want to bring it all the way down, just a little bit down. And then we'll fold it in, make a second knot, and pull that tight. And there you go. You got yourself a little ornament. Then you can place your other stencils down if you like and paint those too. And there you go. Thank you for joining me.